In this section, we introduce statistics. Statistics is the science of conducting studies to collect, organize, summarize, analyze, and draw conclusion from data. Statistics is used to handle large amounts of data and reduce it to a meaningful form. In the first part of this course, we will learn how to organize and summarize data. This is known as descriptive statistics. Then we will cover some probability and probability distributions. All of this will then lead to inferential statistics where we use formal methods to test and draw conclusions from good data. Don't worry about what may look like a lot of crazy formulas in the class. The idea is to use these nice formulas to gain a good understanding of the data. Most of the calculations will be done on a calculator. So yay! For descriptive statistics, the statistician tries to describe a situation. You may recognize these statistics from media, charts, graphs, which gives a quick impression of what is going on. Inferential is the major part of statistics. Here the statistician tries to make inferences from a sample of the population by performing estimations and hypothesis tests, determining relationships among variables, and making predictions. Some terminology. A population is an entire group. A parameter is the measure of some numeric characteristic of a population. A sample is a subset of a population, which is what we use a lot since population can be too large to get information from. Data is information gathered from a sample. A statistic is the measure of some numeric characteristic of a sample based on the data. It's important to note that parameter is of a population and statistic is of a sample. Some types of data. Qualitative data is non-numeric, like hair color, gender, or kind of car driven. Quantitative data is numeric. Two kinds of quantitative data are discrete and continuous. An example. Age is quantitative. Weight of a backpack would also be quantitative. Number of siblings, yep, quantitative. Pretty easy, right? Favorite baseball team would be qualitative. Town you live in is also qualitative. Population of that town is quantitative, though. Now let's go back at the quantitative data and label whether discrete or continuous. Age is continuous. Weight of a backpack, also continuous. Number of siblings is discrete, though some of you may think your siblings aren't much of a person. In reality, they are a whole person. Population of a town is also discrete. Levels of measurement of data. Nominal data goes with categorical discrete data. Sounds like names. Ordinal, which sounds like order, is for data that have a natural order. Interval data is like ordinal, except we say intervals between values are equally split. 
The most common example is temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. Also, interval data has no natural zero. Ratio is like interval except it has a natural zero, such as time. Example of organizing the data according to their level of measure. Zip code, even though it is a number, is more like a name of an area, so it is nominal. Height is ratio. Judging has to do with order, so ordinal. Temperature, assuming it's degrees Fahrenheit, is interval. Time is ratio. Gender is nominal. IQ is interval, has no natural zero. Political affiliation is nominal. Nationality is also nominal. SAT score is interval. Again, no natural zero. You get points for just writing your name. Weight is ratio. Religious affiliation is nominal. Age is ratio. Grade is ordinal. Eye color is nominal. And ordinal for rating scale. Some types of sampling data. Observational study is where we observe and don't attempt to modify. Experiment is where we apply some treatment and then observe effects. To obtain samples that are unbiased, statisticians use different methods of sampling. Simple random sampling and random sampling are a couple of those methods. Systematic, stratified, and cluster sampling are other unbiased methods for getting a sample.
convenience sampling is a bad and biased way of collecting data. An example, doing a survey and selecting 100 phone numbers each from 8 area codes. This would be stratified sampling since we are looking at a small group from each area code. Level of measurement is nominal since we are looking at a Republican or Democrat. What do we do with the data? Carefully interpret the data. Misinterpretation can lead to false assumptions.